fine. It's storytelling time again. So I hope you have your pajamas on and that you are in the bed and you are under your covers. Again, I have my sheep pajamas on and my hat that I'm going to sleep with. So as soon as I am done reading you the story, I'm also going to sleep. So today I'm going to read to you Jack and the Beanstalk. So pull up your covers and relax and let's hear the story. This is the story of how Jack did a silly thing, but all was well in the end. Jack and his mother was very poor, and there came a day when they, where there was just no more money left. So Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and sell the cow. As Jack led the cow to the market, he met a very funny little man with a tall feather in his hat. <laughs> and where might you be going with that fine looking cow? The little man asked. Jack explained and the little man swept off his hat with the feather and shook out five colored beans. Wow young Jack, I can save you a journey. I will give you these five magic beans in exchange for your cow. Now Jack should have realized that this was all rather odd, for how did the funny little man know his name? But once he heard the word magic, he didn't stop to think about it. He took the beans, gave the funny little man the cow, and ran off home to his mother. Jack, you are a complete fool! You have exchanged our fine cow for five worthless beans. His mother flung the beans out of the window and sent Jack to bed without any supper. When Jack woke in the morning, Jack couldn't understand why it was so dark in the cottage. He rushed outside to find his mother staring in amazement at the most enormous beanstalk that reached right up into the clouds. I told you they were magic beans, smiled Jack, and without any hesitation, he began to climb up the beanstalk. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed, until he could no longer see the ground below. When he reached the top, there stood a castle. Jack knocked at the door and it was opened by a huge woman. So I'm just going to show you these pictures. Here is Jack with his cow and there's that funny looking man that gave him the five beans. Let's see what happens next. My husband eats little boys for breakfast, so you better run away quickly, she said to Jack. But before Jack could reply, the ground started to shake and tremble. Too late, said the giant's wife, you must hide. And she bundled Jack into a cupboard. Jack peeped through the keyhole and saw the most huge man stump into the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. He roared. Don't be silly, dear. You can smell the sausages I have just cooked for your breakfast, said the giant's wife, placing a plate full of 163 sausages in front of him. The giant did not seem to have very good table manners and had soon gobbled all of the sausages. Then he poured a great bag of gold onto the table and counted all the coins. With a smile on his face, he soon fell asleep. Jack darted out of the cupboard, grabbed the bag of money and hid out of the kitchen. He slithered down the beanstalk as fast as ever. And then, still standing at the bottom, was his mother. She was astonished when she saw the gold. Jack's mother bought two new cows and she and Jack were very content now that they had plenty to eat every day. But after a while, 
Jack decided he would like to climb up the beanstalk again. The giant's wife was not very happy to see him. My husband lost a bag of gold the last time you were here, she said looking closely at Jack. But then the ground began to shake again and it trembled. Jack hid in the cupboard again. The giant stumbled into the kitchen. Fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman, he roared. Don't, don't be silly, dear. You can smell the sausages and the chickens that I have cooked for your breakfast, said the giant's wife, placing a plate piled with 38 chickens in front of him and 68 sausages. The giant had soon gobbled the lot. Then he lifted a golden hen onto the table and said, Lay! And the hen laid a golden egg. With a smile on his face, he fell asleep, snoring loudly. Jack darted out of the cupboard, grabbed the golden hen and head out of the kitchen. He slithered down the beanstalk as fast as he ever could. And there, still standing at the bottom, was his mother. She was astonished when she saw the hen. Jack's mother bought a whole herd of cows and found a farmer to look after them. She bought lots of new clothes for herself and Jack and they were very content. But after a while, Jack decided he would like to climb up the beanstalk one last time. The giant's wife was not at all pleased to see him. My husband lost a golden hen the last time you were here. And she looked closely at Jack. But then the ground began to shake and tremble. This time, Jack hid under the table. The giant stumped into the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. He roared. I would look in the cupboard if I were you, said the giant's wife. But of course the cupboard was empty. They were both puzzled. The giant trusted his nose and his wife didn't know where Jack had gone. Eat your breakfast, dear. I have just cooked you 92 fried eggs, said the giant's wife, placing a plate in front of him. The giant had soon gobbled the lot. Then he lifted a golden harp onto the table and said, Play! And the harp played sweetly that the giant was soon fast asleep, snoring loudly. Jack crept out from under the table and grabbed the golden harp, but as soon as he touched it, the harp, the harp called out, Master! Master! And the giant woke with a great start. He chased after Jack who scrambled down the beanstalk as fast as he ever did before with the harp still in his arms. As soon as Jack reached the ground, he raced to get a very big axe and chopped through the beanstalk. Down tumbled the great beanstalk, down tumbled the giant, and that was the end of them both. Jack and his mother lived very happily for the rest of their days. The bag of gold never ran out. The hen laid a golden egg every day, and the harp soon forgot about the giant and played sweetly for Jack and his mother. And that is the end of our story. The book that I read to you is a hundred classic stories and it was written by Miles Kelly. Okay guys, it's time to close your eyes and to dream about how big that beanstalk was. That it was so big and so huge that if you are at the top you cannot see the ground. And then you dream about how high in the sky you want to be one day and why. Okay guys, remember to like the video and share with all your friends. Good night.